Before we learn how to solve the differential equation, we will learn how to verify that a function is the solution to the differential equation. So we will start with a simple example on quadratic equation, like uh, x squared plus 2x plus 1, which is 0. All right. So uh, I would like to prove that x is equal to negative 1 is the solution to this quadratic equation. So what we try to do is we try to start with the left hand side of this quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Right now, I do not know that whether this is equal to 0 when x is negative 1. So I will sub substitute this x is negative 1 into the left hand side of this quadratic equation. So negative 1 to negative 1. So I find that this 0 is the same as that right hand side. It means that this is the solution to this quadratic equation. I can give you another example, say x is 0. So I would like to prove that x is 0 is not a solution to this quadratic equation. So how I can do it? Uh, so I can also start with the left hand side of the quadratic equation, which is x squared plus 2x plus 1. All right. And then I substitute x to be 0 into this quadratic equation, into the left hand side of this quadratic equation. So 0 squared plus 2 times 0 plus 1, which is 1. So 1 is not the same as the right hand side. All right. So therefore, x is 0 is not a solution to this quadratic equation. So how does it relate to um, the solutions of a differential equation. Indeed, when we want to verify whether a function is a solution to a differential equation or not, we may simply compute the der derivatives of y. So what does that mean? Why do we have to do it? Because in a differential equation, you got derivative, right? And then right now your y is given. So we try to uh, find the derivative of this y and then we will substitute then back into the differential equation to see whether the equation is satisfied. So what you try to do is, right now you got your y or you got your dy dx, and then maybe d squared y dx squared. So what you try to do is, you substitute all this thing back to one side of the differential equation. And then you would like to check whether this is equal to the other side of the differential equation. So this is essentially the same as uh, when we want to check whether these numbers are the solutions to the differential, sorry, to the quadratic equation.